How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back to get another review. A little bit of hot butcher time in the form of their Blazed Orange Citra and Simcoe Hopped American India Pale Ale. So, yeah. Love me some hot butcher. Dudes, mad cool. They make fun, interesting. I wouldn't say unique, but I would say unique. So maybe I should. They just have a little bit of a different twist in a lot of the beers they do. Um, the way their kind of IPAs come off, they're a lot of new school influence, but their own kind of individuality. I kind of speak to that a lot of with these new hazy kind of IPAs. A lot of beers lack personality. Um, they lack like a core to them. And they're very generic, like somebody else is trying to make somebody else's beer. Total opposite uh, end of the spectrum, typically most of the Hot Butcher stuff. Even some of the stuff I didn't like was still interesting. And what they tried to do with it. So, super excited to give it a whirl. This came from them, too. So, I don't want to say nice shit about them because you know me. I'll say bad shit about anybody if the shit sucks. So, anyway, uh, Blazed Orange, uh, Citroen Simcoe Hopped American India Pale Ale, 6.5% alcohol by volume. It was canned a month and a half ago, right around Valentine's Day. Not too old. Um, it says juicy oranges, or uh, orange juice, and orange orange smoothie so they're going tasty notes all on the orange spectrum there and artwork by dan gresca uh he does pretty much all their labeling and the dude fucking kills it so i love the fucking labels <sighs> new glass for the arsenal this is actually at the future wife's place well my place now so i'm gonna give you guys a legit pour you don't see this that often on massive beer reviews usually i'm just throwing beers in there but I figured that tall glass give you the proper pour uh so yeah what do you have there? Pinky finger, uh, infinite creaminess, tight, compact bubbles, little dirty glass mafia wrapped around a nice and soft, hazy orange. So yeah, she definitely looks like the OJ. Hopefully it doesn't stab me. Um, so yeah, let's get a nose on her. Well, you know, they weren't kidding. It's oranges. Yeah, I'm getting orange vibes uh, across the spectrum. You're getting the sweetness, you're getting a little bit of rindiness, a little bit of pithiness, but you're also getting a, that kind of, they said orange smoothie. There's almost, it's not lactose, but you get this kind of softer, kind of creamy, kind of orange vibe off it too that kind of makes you think that. It's not too sweet, not too bitter, just very neutral in a good way. But it's very, all soft oranges, abound in the nose. Let's see what it tastes like. That's fucking delicious. I think it is. There's a nice, robust, kind of crackery, slightly nutty kind of malt thing going on. My buddy, I have had this before, let's put it that way. My buddy Chris was over, helped me move, and I cracked this for them uh, yesterday. I never do the peanut skin thing. I know some people are about that. He says he gets a ton of peanut skin off it. That ends up being that kind of, that flavor, which isn't a negative, um, ends up being that kind of nutty, crackery malt. That's how I perceive it. He perceived it as um, as peanut skin, so I can understand where he's coming from on that one. But outside of that, it's just pretty much all oranges. You're getting that nice kind of orange juiciness, but at the same time, you're getting a little bit of orange kind of pithy bitterness, a little bit of orange rindiness, all orange all the time. Um, and the bittering itself is kind of outside of the orange part. It's kind of generic. It's got a really nice mouthfeel. It's not the most dense beer in the history of mankind, but it's quite nice on the mouthfeel end of things and just super tasty, well-made, delicious. I mean, it's, it's kind of just taking... You know, the hops, I mean, you know, Simcoe, you know, usually I'm get a little bit cattier on that one and stuff like that. But you're taking two hops and you kind of showcase it in a kind of very old school kind of beer way, but bring a lot of new school to it. And it's pretty fun to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk about it. Is this one of the better double IPAs that I've had as of late? Hmm. Well, IPAs, because it's not a double. It's a mirror. You know what I mean. It's a double. Uh, yeah, she's pretty tasty. She's not going to be the world killer. Uh, she's not the best thing I've ever had, but she's pretty damn good. And just the simplicity of it kind of turns me on. Because, uh, you know, a lot of the beers that I, I've gotten from Hot Butcher, I mean, you know, pistachios in this, and then, um, you know, wood in this, and there's a lot of extra bits and pieces to them. I think the beers that I've had from them have been core four ingredients. have been some of the better ones. Not that the other ones haven't been great either, but I like that kind of taking simple ingredients and making these kind of flavors come out of just the base ingredients. Um, 
value and availability. Uh, don't know. Chicago, I know it's a distribution thing. I don't, they don't do like a can release thing. They just drop cans off at random places. So um, maybe somebody out there can chime in on what's what when it comes to looking for their beers and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this? Um, if you like oranges, you know, they weren't fooling around with those tasting notes. You pretty much just get oranges all over the place in multiple different ways in a pretty good way. So if you like that, you like your IPAs, you like them hazy but not too crazy, I just made a rhyme. Uh, this might be for you. There you go. Another review in the books down there if you want to talk about it. Um, type my uh, Massive Beers name into Google. If you want to check me out doing the social media thing, type in Beer Massive into uh, Google or podcast your favorite podcasting app and find me doing the podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice hot butcher beer right now and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.